murder most misfortunate. From the pictures, actually looked kind of well done. Sure, I don't think I'm gonna be solving the whole murder mystery, so sure. Left click on this text or press the spacebar to proceed. Okay, so that's that's to make the game do its own thing. Ah, cool. Got it. I can I can I read. Fortune. Or you I can read for me. Well. I did so enjoy our little discussion of the work of Guy de Mauvaisier the last time we met. I'm sorry, but that guy just sounds like a real-life vampire. I would like to cordially invite you to an intimate gathering of mine on the evening of the 27th. I have to ask. Are you a count, and do you have a castle? We will be celebrating my recent acquisition of a rather unique historical property, and I think you are just the one to properly appreciate it. Let me guess, it is a castle. You did just purchase a castle. I look forward to your RSVP in the affirmative. Most sincerely yours, Prince Titanico. <laughs> okay, and the name completely ruins it. <laughs> I ain't a count, I am a prince. Titanic! Oh. <laughs> There, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna block less of the sound off because it's actually pretty, pretty loud for me. It was at an art auction, I think, that I first met Prince Titanico. He seemed to think the world of himself. I mean, he is a prince, apparently. I, quite frankly, thought him a bit of a bore. But, if I only accepted social invitations from people I thoroughly approved, I wouldn't dine out very often. Milk the prince for the money! I mean, why am I complaining that this name is Titanico when she's Fortune? Or Miss Fortune? Who want her I stepped onto the curb from my limo and laid eyes on the place for the first time. Gothic gargoyles loomed ominously over the old house, and creeping vines wound their way up its walls, as though trying to strangle it. So how rich do I need to be in order to get invitation letters inviting me into creepy old castles, because I would absolutely love to visit one. <laughs> Alternatively, which of historian people should I befriend? Which one of them would be like, Hey, I'm babysitting an old historical castle today. Would you want to just hang out? Because I would be like, Oh yeah, I would absolutely love to hang out in old historical castles. Maybe we can even up, run up and down some stone stairways, pretending to be, I don't know, some sort of gothic princess in need of saving or something, because that sounds like a great way to spend the evening. Maybe even get haunted a tiny bit. That also sounds like a great way to spend the evening. The prince had been right. It really was to my taste. It is to my taste as well. Just invite me to all the stone castles. Good evening, ma'am. May I have your name? I don't know if his butler wants my name or whether he wants to wrestle me. I'm not gonna ask. Ugh. This hulking thug, on the other hand, not so much. Fortune. Miss Fortune. So then step one... Get so good at Twitch, YouTube, or whatever, that I would just like get a couple million in the bank. Step two, change my name to Fortune. Step three, step three hopefully some princess invite me to some ancient stone castles. Because, yeah, I would, I would do all of that and just be invited to some ancient stone castles. Uh, 
Is the miss a first name or a title, ma'am? Yes. Oh, I like to leave that to the imagination. Yes. Now you must be the butler, so why don't you buttle on and show me inside? The evening is a bit damp, I dare say. It's nice that the background rain isn't really touching her, because otherwise she would just be like completely uh, wet. No, ma'am. I'm not a butler. Just a valet. You look like you're a wrestler, dude. My name is Klops. Oh my. What a terrible shame. Well, butler, or valet, you do open doors, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Right this way. Actually, can I befriend a butler that would just kind of show me into a nice historical castle? Because, I mean, they do From stay the cobwebs there, right? in the corners and the dust on the railings, it was obvious that the house had been abandoned for some time. And it is so obvious that this prince has not cleaned up before inviting some guests Some over. high society guests might have been insulted to be invited to a venue in such ill repair, but it didn't bother me. I realized that the house had been preserved as it was, for the effect. So are you gonna like pop out a couple of Ouija boards and just start doing some business? <clears throat> Misfortune has arrived. Ah, Miss Fortune, good evening. Uh, there are refreshments on the side table. Please do help yourself. This is the court wizard. Because every court needs one, of course. Why, thank you. So, are you the butler? Or are you going to tell me you're just, I don't know, the concierge? Butler? <laughs> no, 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 I, I'm not a servant. <laughs> I mean, does the guy look like a servant? He, he wears a funny hat and has sharp shoulder edges. I should get some sharp shoulder edges. I am a close friend and trusted advisor to our dear prince. I also carry a wand in my back pocket, don't question me about it. The Grand Magus of his court, if you will. Uh, my name is Horatio. Uh, there it is. There it is. When I was ten years old, I also had a funny hat because I liked to LARP as Harry Potter. Or not entirely as Harry Potter, mind you, just, just of that... Yep, I, I like to put the movie on the twirlies in my room. With the hat. I kind of feel like maybe I should get that hat again. <laughs> At the age of 27, I'm like, that's dope hair decoration. <laughs> uh, I mean, I even have glasses. <laughs> to match that Harry Potter look if I really, really wanted to. Charmed, I'm sure. I'm very charmed. My dear Miss Fortune, how are you, darling? It's so good to see you again. Contessa de Cassitra. Yes, it's been just ages, hasn't it? Where's her ass? Like, that's just... That dress is making really weird I shapes on her. I should have known you to be here. You're never one to miss an event on the social circuit. I dare say I needed something to cheer me up after my late husband's funeral. And an evening like this is just the thing. Uh, dead husband? Of course. I was so sorry to hear about your husband. Let me just strike this a This is your pose. first time a widow, if I'm not mistaken. I so love this game for being voice acted, like, you buy a legit visual novel on Steam and it tends to be like, you do 99% of all the reading. I mean, some of them don't even have visuals. Looking at you, Vampire the Masquerade, and then you buy a $5 bundle and it's like, fully voice acted. Quite so. And for you, nine, I believe? Ah, oh, yes. They just keep dropping dead, the poor dears. 
It's so hard to find a good man with stamina these days. It just sounds like you forget to feed them, like they do need that regular function to exist, you know. Oh my, should I be worried? Perhaps you've been cursed. I don't know, Horatio, are you planning on marrying either one of these women? <laughs> Me? Cursed? <laughs> Nonsense. I seem to be doing just fine. But maybe I am bad luck. I mean, your eyes are red. I would be concerned about that. Let me see. What exactly was it that we last saw each other? It must have been at the Emperor's Ball. Heavens, yes! Wasn't that quite the affair? Were you there when one of the waiters spilled a tray of champagne all over Duchess Reese's dress? Oh, yes. That was positively scrumptious, wasn't it? I mean, a shame about the dress, of course. I heard she had it made just for the ball. Such a pity. I just realized that this appendage on the other woman looks really weird. Like... Okay, it probably ends at about the right place, but I mean, what what angle is this? But then it has to be like more backward because her fingers like... Th that ain't the... F that ain't the comfortable humane angle to keep, just saying. <laughs> Given how many people come out nowadays, it was bound to happen to someone. I even heard the poor servant say he was sure he felt someone in the crowd give him a little shove. Can you imagine? Comtessa, why is one of your hands deformed? Surely not. These are high lords and ladies we're talking about. No doubt the man is just making excuses for his clumsiness. I just, I'm just gonna continue striking poses with her. You're probably right. <laughs> just an unlucky accident, I'm sure. Ah, Miss Ah, Contessa Fox. fixed her Wait. hand! I'm so delighted that you could come. I trust Horatio has been keeping you entertained. Oh, Count! Please tell me all about that lovely accent of yours. And whether I can come over and visit some ancient castles. I would really love that. Oh, yes. La Comtessa and I were just scandalizing your court jester. Or was he a wizard? In any case, scandalizing him with our intimate marriage details. Mm. <laughs> of course you were. Of so course. Tell, what do you think of the house? It's very well preserved, my count. Spiders and all. I must admit, when I first came into this little period piece, I immediately thought of you. It seems melancholy, mysterious, and maybe just a little macabre. So yes, I quite like it so far. So then, count, do you normally wear some... Horns on your head, or is that specially for me? Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. I will take you on a more detailed tour shortly, but we are still waiting for more guests to arrive. I mean, that the accent that he's doing is kind of pulling me all the way into Russian. And what timing. Here they are now. Just the hand poses. Miss Charisse and Miss Leah have arrived, sir. <clears throat> oh, now we turn and we hand pose into a different direction. I'm just wondering if they're like seeing hand poses as they come in. I also love how this like this girl is just dressed like full on modern. This girl, this one is just like yeah, 19th century will do. We're like classic medieval over here with a guy just posing. With a claw hand! And of course a court a court wizard, because yep. <laughs> Is that the Cherise? The industrial heiress? The one who's been throwing all those charity balls ever since she came into her fortune. A loss. What? I mean 
mean, why am I questioning? The time period that this is set on is called visual novel time. The very same! My beautiful Charisse, please come in. Without you, this place is dark and drab, but your radiance rekindles it anew. I just love how the girl with the green hair was all like, Oh yeah, I am being invited into a formal dinner thing, let me just show up in short shorts. Like I was just there on my grass, sunbathing, maybe doing some landscaping, and they were like, hey, pop by for casual formal dinner. And I was like, yeah, sure thing, and they just grabbed my swimsuit, my bikini, and I was like, this is gonna be a whale of a time. You're too kind. Oh my! I had heard she was seeing someone, but I never imagined it was him. Hmm, indeed. This party just got a little more interesting. So is the Transylvanian Titanic marrying the little girl with ombre hair, candy floss at the bottom, and white at the top. And this must be Leah, the girlhood friend of whom you speak so very highly. Yeah, it's the girl that decided to just pop on some short shorts. Yeah, nice place you got here. If you like entertaining dead people. Dead people? Yeah, I assure you, fair lady, you are perfectly safe here. Ah, oh, I did that kind of wizard. This wizard has never done necromancy a single time in his life. He's super surprised around dead people. Like, come on. Don't be that grossed out. I think it was a critique of the decor, not of our safety. Leah doesn't mean it. It's a lovely house. Really. Though, so have you heard of a duster? On the contrary. Miss Leah may be more right than she knows. Until recently, this mansion was the property of the Lee family. Perhaps you know of them. Oh yes, who doesn't? A distinguished family of the nobility, with a respected pedigree, and a long history of public service and political influence. Good breeding stock! So, short version, some stuffy old rich people. That would be, yep, that would, that would sum up a lot of people in this game, probably. Almost all of the estates out here, away from the city, were owned by old families. But many have had to sell over the years. Yeah, the pandemic hit the rich really hard, hasn't it? It must be a bit sad for them. Leaving all that history behind. Well, now you have all that history for yourself instead. Indeed. And especially so for the Lees. Theirs is a tale of tragedy. And it ends, as they so often do, in sorrow and blood. Just the way you pronounce that word, blood. Blood. Count, are you alive? Oh. I mean... Your court mage is entertained by the thunder. And if you weren't alive, I think you would be fainting or running away or something because this doll has not practiced a single... He hasn't looked left from the protection spells at all, I think. Like, whatsoever. Come. The house itself will tell its share of the tale. They had a whole room to smoke in. This is the smoking room. Did the Lee family use this as a quiet place to relax after their evening meals, I wonder? Or was this the proverbial smoke-filled room where secret deals would be struck and the fates of nations decided? Why not both? Wait, did Lee family own a nation or something? My attention was drawn to a curio cabinet on one side of the room. Some of the items within rather struck my fancy. You were like, oh hey look, a dagger, can this I have cabinet. one? Are these items originals? I believe so. 
I have endeavored to change as little as possible about the house since acquiring it. The Lees were well known as eclectic collectors. It was also super sparse. They also say that sorcery ran strongly in the Lee family, you know. Do you ever need to have like that chalice refilled or did, are you even drinking it or is... What are you, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Great. As if we didn't have enough reason to think this place was owned by a bunch of creepers. Yeah, it's my kind of creepers. I wouldn't mind a stone castle. Oh, no. Surely a smart little girl like you doesn't put any stock in old superstitions. Smart little girl like you. I'll show you a smart little girl. Magic and superstitions, no. Weird and creepy people, on the other hand, are plenty real. And currently, you are standing in the company of five of them. No need to worry, young lady. You're among good company here. Slightly drunk wizard that's all sunshine and rainbows is especially good company. <laughs> we will have time to look around in greater detail later, I assure you. For the moment, follow me, if you would. They called this the King Bedroom, home to the master of the house. I'm just gonna get some cookies out because these people, they just keep on talking, which isn't that bad because they voice themselves, so this is like an extra easy thing for me. Now, it is as you see it, empty and forlorn, as it waits for a new master to take the place of the old. It feels so... cold. There are things we can do on that bed to make it warmer. Milady, I can call for Klops to bring you a sweater. Horatio, that place might be haunted. And while he's at it, perhaps also a textbook on metaphorical versus literal language. Hmm? Yes, that would be very useful. You are so kind, but I'm fine. It's just... the atmosphere of this place. You are in luck! This is where you will be living if you marry the person that honestly sounds like... He has died centuries ago. The Lees were among our most powerful families before the Imperial Revolution. But, like most of the Old Guard at the time, they chose the losing side. <laughs> In many ways, the family never recovered. I don't wanna crackle crackle too much. They certainly never recovered financially, at the very least. Thus the sale of this very house. As opposed to that very house. It's almost as if old money runs out if you're not smart with it. Huh, who'd have thought? Money! I know, right? Though, honestly, the richer you are, the harder it is to actually run out of it. Kind of a dull statement, but I mean... Money makes money. So you have to try real hard. Quite so. But at least the house has gone to those who can appreciate its history. I do approve of the queen receiving this her own bedroom. This is the queen bedroom. And it has a fascinating story. It has it the queen? It is said that the famous senator, Lamika Lee herself, met her end in this very room during the final days of the revolution. Yeah, I remember learning about that. She was one of the staunchest supporters of the Old Republic. And she was killed here? In her own bedroom? That's so terrible. <laughs> I mean, getting killed is terrible. Does it matter where? By all accounts, she did not go down without a fight. 
Revolutionary soldiers had stormed the grounds, but none who came in here survived. Well, that, that's actually an ideal way of going. Like, if I'm going, fuck you, I'm taking you with me. They even say that she sustained herself for days on the blood of the soldiers who kept coming for her. Sounds like my kind of woman. Well, points for ingenuity. I'll grant her that. But that was all a long time ago. There wouldn't still be any blood left here now. Or anything. Okay, I'm now suspecting both of you of vampirism. What's with that focus? No, blood... I mean... Possibly. How long does a blood stain last? I don't think you're gonna catch of anything of like centuries old blood stain. I mean, it's just gonna be really hard to get out of your carpet. Hmm, really? With all the red, it's rather difficult to say, isn't it? Who knows how much of it might have soaked into the floor, the walls, the bed. <sighs> You are right, my darling Charisse. It is all long past. A good tale for a night of ghost stories, perhaps. But thankfully, these are happier times. Hello, Jade. We are currently playing... Let me just pull up a list of my games. MMM. Murder Most Misfortunate. And we will likely not be going through all of the game. Um, trying, I'm just trying to get a good angle for myself on this camera right now. I'm not very, very satisfied. Um, I'll, I'll casually, this way I suppose. It's gonna be like a confession booth because this is my microphone. Um. <laughs> One thing that I'm gonna say. It's you, bundle. Five dollars. Visual novel. Fully voice acted. Like, fully voice acted. Vampire the Masquerade visual novels, I do all the reading. And here we have the dining hall. I see that Klops has left some tea and coffee on the table for us. Though, really, characters are kind of funny. So this is... Titanico! The prince! That has acquired a stone castle... That he has not cleaned... For the atmosphere. This is Miss Fortune. She's been invited over here. Because... It was like, hey, hey let, let me show you my new stone castle. I think you're gonna appreciate it. Um... And I was like, so all I need to do is get like a couple of million dollars and change my name to Fortune in order for a weirdly Transylvanian accented men in devil's masks that called themselves Prince Satanico to invite me to some stone castles. Nice to know. By the way, I would totally take invitations to any stone castles. Stone castles do um. It would be- it would be my jam! I would- Any historians or anyone watching that would be like, Oh hey, like, I have a spare stone castle, let's- You know, let's- let's jam, let's go out there, let's hang out, let's maybe have a photo shoot on stone stairways that keep on spinning and going and let me just pose in front of the windows and you can tell me some scary ghost stories, we can maybe get out a Ouija board, you know, good time, good time. This is the court mage, because they have one, apparently, and I think his name is Horatio. Horatio has not looked to the left of the protection spells in his whole life, for he is very, very, very surprised the moment anyone talks about anything even remotely grim, like Horatio is rainbow cookie from, <laughs> from my knowledge of Horatio so far. Random duchess of some sorts it sounds kind of annoying. Spanish, I think, from the accent. Does gossip. 
Charisse, which this dude is apparently gonna marry. She just looks sad. And then Charisse's friend that was like, yeah, I will totally come and hang out with your creepy possible future fiance inside a stone mansion. Let me just stop sunbathing and just put on some short shorts and let's go. And orange juice too, I hope. I'm running rather low. It, all this dry air, you know? Guy, your glass is full. I'll see to it, sir. This is Klops the servant. Klops looks like he should be in the wrestling ring somewhere. For me, just a spot of black coffee would be wonderful. Okay, that's not a Spanish accent. I don't know, maybe it's her name that just came up. Came off as Spanish for me. I. Yeah. This concludes our formal tour. Our of formal estate. tour! But our evening is far Comrade. from. Comrade! Tonight, my friends, is Whoa. more than just a housewarming party. Before the night is done, I have a very special announcement to make to you all. I will be killing one of you tonight. <gasps> Don't worry, my dear. You are safe with me. I want to protect your dear from you. Thank you. I was just a bit startled. Honey, you sound depressed. Oh, heavens, yes. The light's going out. What horror. I dare say I may fate myself. Delicate flower that I am. Delicate flower that has gone through nine husbands so far. Flower? A noxious weed, perhaps. Thank you, Leah, for being from the 21st century and going, what the fuck? Oh, please, Miss Fortune, allow me. I've got you now. You really are hitting on, like, a Black Widow right now, for her husbands keep on... Yeah, you okay, Horatio? Oh, what would we do without you? On second thought, you can unhand me. I seem to be quite alright. Good, good. Because there's... Nothing to be worried about. It's just a little blackout. Would you be so good as to check the breaker then, my dear Horatio? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, my talents will shed some light on all of us in no time. You're the court wizard. Can't you just summon up a fireball? I absolutely adore these old homes, but they do so often have problems with the wiring, don't they? I just love how from this, like, little bunch of people, you really cannot tell anything about the setting. Like, I don't even know, do, do your court wizards, like, do fortune telling from, from, from cards? Is it more like Golden Dawn sort of wizard? Or is it more like I make a fireball sort of wizard? I don't know! Excuse me, boss. Sir, there's a telephone call for you. Even though the electricity's out. Is it a mobile? For me, here, how mysterious. You must excuse me, my dear guests. Klops will fetch some candles for you so you can look around while Horatio works his magic on the lighting. I will return very shortly. Horatio is currently trying to cast a spell on the circuit breaker. I hope it's working for him. I wandered back to the king bedroom by myself to take a closer look at some of the decor. In the dark. Without a flashlight. Okay, so whenever it's a clickable object, it actually highlights for me. That's pretty... that's pretty swell. Okay, that's the door. I'd hope that by taking a closer look at the ruined portrait, I might be able to discern who had been pictured. I could imagine no shortage of delicious reasons why a lord's portrait might be disfigured in a house such as this. Shredded by a bitter servant when the master was thought absent. Savaged by an angry child, who never quite lived up to expectations. 
Alas, the portrait seemed more a victim of old age than of some crime of passion. And of the face, I could make out nothing at all. I mean, I can make out quite a bit of that face. It's just Zai region. So it's mostly just bed and drapes. The elaborate carvings on the wooden bedpost intrigued me. Spirits and demons of all sorts circled and surrounded any lord who might sleep in this bed. That sounds like my kind of bed, I would go for it. Was this preferable, I wondered, than sleeping in the arms of Lamaka Lee, blood drinker as she was rumored to be? Ah, <sighs> looks like our court magician has managed to conjure back a little light for us after all. The air in the old house was still and thick with dust. But even had there Hello, been a draft, I doubt the black drapes by the room's window would have stirred. Even I was surprised by how thick and heavy the material was. No sunlight would have pierced its way into this room against its occupant's wishes. That much was certain. Ah, so is she really the only blood drinker around then? Just what kind of skeletons did the Lee family have locked away inside that conspicuous old chest? I don't know, just break it open! I must confess, I have a terrible weakness for things that are locked up to keep me out of them. Oh, alas, it's my brother's surprise who's rather handy with the lockpicks, not me. Misfortune? Surprise? Your family has a thing for puns, don't they? For just the slightest of moments, I considered collapsing into the antique red chair in the room's corner. After all, we'd spent the evening on our feet, traipsing about the house for the prince's little ghost tour. Can I traipse around the house for a bit of a ghost tour? Because I then love I it. remembered that spiderwebs don't just come out of nowhere and that upholstery is the prime place for the little nasties to hide. I would have to remember to warn our doe-eyed little angel about that as well. You know, in addition to the possible bloodstains and all. At last I found you, Miss Fortune. You need to come right away. Uh, please. Whatever is the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost with that one eye of yours. There's no time to waste, Miss. You should see for yourself. Gathering my skirts, I hurried after the hulking butler, uh, sorry, valet, back to the hall where we had first arrived. I think you have one skirt. From the urgency Am in I his wrong? pace and in his voice, I knew that something had happened. But still... Oh! Alrighty It was then. our host, Prince Titanico. He was dead. That alone wouldn't scare me. I was no stranger to dead bodies. No, I imagine you, you're not. But from the way he was lying, it was clear that his death was no accident. He'd been murdered. And that meant that someone in the mansion was the murderer. Or there was an extra person around. I suspect his fiancée because she looked so depressed. Well, that's a really slow load time, but at the same time, Jesus Christ, they put in a lot of effort. Game has been saved. I found the rest of the ladies. Now, Klops, what is this all about? That time that limit. A body? Here! Oh, oh, positively horrid! I mean, I, I could select against it, so that's fine, but, um... Yeah, it's a thing. Ugh! Everyone, shield your eyes! This is not a sight for fair sensibilities. The other guests stood in the doorway opposite myself and Klops. My eyes fell on our oh-so-sensitive ingenue, Charisse. If ever there was a time to faint for real, this was it. But she didn't. She just stared into the room, 
her eyes wide, glassy, and unblinking. <clears throat> yeah, she looks depressed. Somebody needs to call the police! Yes, ma'am. Right away. It'll take them a while. We're ways out of the city. We... we shouldn't touch anything. Let's all go back to the dining room and wait for the police to arrive. I... I'm just trying to imagine how he's gonna try and explain that he's the court wizard. <laughs> is that like... Is that like a normal thing? For them? Is... I don't... I don't know anything about your universe. No. Uh... What? We can't just sit and wait. We need to investigate. We need to see the truth with our own eyes. Your face squished down like a potato. I'm with you on that, Sherry. Well, if our precocious little darlings are going to be poking about, I'm certainly not going to be left out. If... if you insist, then? My dears, please do be very careful. We won't disturb anything, Comtessa. I promise. That is not what I meant. It could be that whoever did this has not gone far. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Surely it was just some mm -hmm. villain who has since fled the scene. I'll keep an eye out, sir. Just nobody wander far, you understand? Hello, Cold Moon. Perhaps it would have been more comforting to believe the culprit was some stranger. A shadow in the night that was now long gone. But it just wouldn't have fit the evening's theme, now would it? We're playing indie games. Anyways, Ichio has put out a help for pal sign bundle that sold over a thousand game-ish things for five dollars that included a lot of assets some books some ttrpgs some free-to-play browser things it was just a combination of like a million 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 things i let my youtube pick out some and they picked like what 15 titles i picked some out myself as well i picked like 30 titles so I'm just gonna stream these from time to time because you see most of these will never get seen otherwise. Nobody will know that they're even a thing. They're just in some bundle somewhere. And currently we are on Murder Most Misfortunate. And one thing that really impressed me outside of the fact that the timer's ticking by the way, I'm not even gonna get to the end of the timer. I will probably switch games before that because I'm mostly just poking around, like trying them out, just, you know, making an opinion on them. One thing that actually really impressed me is the fact that this, this game is fully voice acted. It's a visual novel that literally appeared in the $5 bundle. It's fully voice acted. The art looks a bit derp. Characters act a bit derp. I think that's an, on purpose. And um, <laughs> a main character's name is Miss Fortune, <laughs> and she was invited to a spooky house by Prince Titanico. That honestly sounded like a Transylvanian vampire, and now he has been stabbed. I had a hunch that there was something more afoot in the old manor that night. And I certainly wasn't going to trust anyone else to properly figure it out. The police will arrive when the timer at the top of the screen reaches zero. Whoop! No, what a tragedy. <laughs> what a cruel twist of fate. And to think... Tonight was meant to be an evening of joy and making merry. <laughs> Horatio, it looks like somebody literally squished you. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure that joy is the word I'd pick for an evening in this house. But I'll admit, I was never expecting anything like this. 
It was such a monstrous sight. Do you think Miss Leah and Miss Cherise will be all right? I honestly think Miss Cherise is the one that did it. She was the one that Titanical was courting, and she looked really depressed about it. All right. They looked healthy enough to me. No, no, I mean, do you think they'll be distraught? You, if you don't mind me saying, are a woman of the world, Miss Fortune. But they are so young, so pure, like a newly bloomed flower that has only seen sunlight, never knowing that there is also night and all the horrors that it hides. Horatio, you look like you're never seen the night. A rose, by any other name, can still prick you quite nastily, if you don't know what you're doing. I beg your pardon? <sighs> Never mind, my dear Horatio. Um, I looked at the demo and a whole bunch of people were even like in a discord where I'm in going um, So how am I supposed to even create a character without sense? Because they are they demoed a path and there weren't Any sins with it and they took away a lot of qualities from said path so it's like Do you combine the path with humanity? Hmm. That would be really weird. Do you just homebrew the whole thing? What was the announcement, Horatio? Prince Titanico mentioned an announcement that he wished to make this evening. Do you know what that was all about? Yes. Or at least, I think so. You mean you're not sure? Y you must understand. The prince was a man with a flair for the dramatic. Uh, he rather liked his secrets, and hence, his surprises. That I don't doubt. In fact, I wouldn't put it past him to have staged his own death, just to leave us all in suspense. Meanwhile, there's just like two coppers in the car somewhere driving really slowly. My dear friend did have rather unusual tastes, but I fear in this case, it was not part of the plan. Yeah, I mean, getting stabbed is going a bit far. I see. So, are you going to tell me then? Especially stabbed in your spinal column, ouch. About what? <laughs> About the announcement, of course. No, I think not. You see, he was gay and he was gonna marry me instead of Sharice. Oh? Huh? As I said, he liked his secrets. I'm telling you now, hmm, it just wouldn't be what he'd want. Well, if you do so insist on being obstinate, I suppose I will have to make do on my own. I don't know why, but I thought that he was gonna say, that she was gonna say off, obfuscate. A true magician never reveals his secrets, Miss Fortune, nor those of his friends. Quince? Horatio, how long had you known our dear departed host? I have, well, had been his closest friend and confidant for many years. How old are you, Horatio? How oh, old was the prince? The grand magus of his court, didn't you say? I did, but alas, though I can conjure a parlor trick or two, I could do little to foresee this unseemly doom. Have you heard of tarot cards? Should I buy you a deck? Indeed. Unseemly. Just the word I would have used. Presumably you would know, then, if the prince had any enemies. <laughs> a man like the prince always does. But none of them are here. I mean, I have a feeling that all of them are Malkavians in some way. I would say the evidence suggests the contrary. Ah! Surely you don't mean to suggest that it was one of us. After all, didn't you say that all your husbands just died from bad luck? Perhaps it was that. Hm. 
Yes, yes, quite. Bad luck. <laughs> Cold Moon, I have counseled people in the middle of my streams before. Kinda in the last stream. Just... That's what streaming is. The chat can just go in like a completely separate direction. <laughs> Now, where were you, Horatio? Where were you when this absolutely dreadful business happened? I imagine I must have still been in the basement, or very close to it. I'd only just got the lights back on, and I was coming up the stairwell when Klops found me. Was he the one to discover the body then? I believe so. He asked me to help find all the guests, which leads me to cleverly deduce that I was the first one he encountered after the gruesome discovery. Really clever deduction there, Mr. Deuce. You're really weird. Oh, clever indeed. Have you Nothing stabbed your friend? You. Uh -huh. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but... Where were you, Miss Fortune? Exploring a bedroom for some odd reason. I was in the king bedroom. Yes. Alone? As it happens, yes. I've always been the sort to need a little bit of me time every so often, you know. Uh, alone? What? No! What did you What did you expect? With, with the duchess kind of 69ing each other or what? But you could have been in danger! Oh, yes. Empty old house, how dangerous. Oh, horrors, you're right. If only I was clairvoyant, I might even have been worried at the time, too. Yeah, the same, by the way, Cold Moon. Um, I wouldn't stop the chat. Even if the chat deviates from the game that you're playing, that's perfectly fine. Well, never fear. You're safe with me now. Yes, I'm sure I am. I, I kind of like her pose, but which fingers, but I mean, one, two, three, oh god, this pose, what, 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 <laughs> Horatio, what are you doing? I do believe it's about time I took a bit of a stroll. Do be careful, Miss Fortune. And please, if you have need of my talents... Of flicking on the light switch and doing parlor twi tricks, I'll, I'll know where to find you. Worry not, my dear. If the lights happen to go out again, I'll know just who to exactly. call. Exactly. Alrighty then. What about the smoking room? Smoking hot that room. I have a feeling that one of the- I returned to what the prince had called the proverbial smoke-filled room. It struck me that this would be the perfect place to call everyone and reveal the truth to this mystery. All in good time, of course. In the meantime, I thought it wise to take another look around while I still had the room to myself. Um, that statue, that's creepy. The strange pose of the statue in the corner of the room rather reminded me of my third husband. You see, the last time I saw the dear old boy, he was in the process of losing his balance and tumbling down the whole stairs. Was it you that pushed him down? A terrible tragedy, really. I had to have those stairs completely replaced just to get the blood out. How? What? Lady! What? What? Did you your, do your stairs have spikes? That cabinet had a few things of interest in it, if I remember correctly. Let's take a closer look. Yep, the dagger's missing. A padded velvet cushion sat in the cabinet looking somewhat forlorn. Surely it was meant to showcase something more interesting, but there was nothing on it now. I could swear that something had been on this cushion before. Just what was it? A dagger! Uh, 
Well, I can't place the dagger back in, in there. In the cabinet, there was an odd little doll that seemed to be made out of straw. Was it some kind of voodoo doll? I tried making those a time or two myself, although, to my great dismay, they never seem to actually work quite right. I mean, people seem to die around you just fine, lady. I don't know what you need voodoo doll for. No, um, I don't actually know why anyone would be offended about tagging. So, in order for me to say that the murder weapon was on the cushion, I would need to find the murder weapon and place it back on the cushion. That is... That is bizarre. I suppose it works. Now, if they had to take the murder weapon from here... I would have expected some footsteps or something. Yeah, don't worry about it. Run the away. The crystal globe in the cabinet was impossible to miss. It seemed to be filled with a swirling red mist of some kind. And as I stared into it, I thought for a moment that I could see a pair of malevolent eyes. Or was it just one staring back? But surely it must have just been my reflection, in combination with the dim light. I can't see the red mist, by the way. All I see is, like, a very, very shiny surface. Though, so there's only one person with one eye? On one side of the room, there was a wine rack filled with dusty old bottles. Most were empty, but a few still contained small amounts of what must have been very well-aged red wine. I signed up for the Alpha. Um... I don't see it going anywhere well. I don't... I don't... I... <laughs> Battle Royale? No worky. Battle Royale? Hard to make work in general. Taking a... Franchise like Vampire the Masquerade and trying to turn that into a Battle Royale. Disastrous, disastrous idea. Especially when di Battle Royales are dying in popularity. There are a few Battle Royales that I actually enjoyed in my life. One of them being Hyperscape, but that one being built from the ground up as its own IP that is meant to be a Battle Royale. It still died. So I just, I don't expect it to live. But I wanna, I wanna get into it. Especially if I can get into the Alpha and just like have a tiny bit of, you know, Play around with it, but I expect it to be dead within weeks. That's my whole thing about it. I don't expect for it to live. But once again, I am currently very engrossed into making videos of indie games that exist rather than the ones that don't exist yet, otherwise I would have made a video on like their trailer and everything. So I just kinda decided that there's no need, I'm just gonna make a video on the thing when the thing is a thing and I can, you know, play it. Oh, and another thing that irked me, the presentation of E3 about it. It just looked to me like we had vampire wizards. Like, I am pretty sure that none of the clients playing it because it goes, you know, oh, hello, Bruja. At least that's what it told me when I logged in. Like, oh, hello, Torador. When, you know, you sign up for the Alpha, they're only gonna have, like, three clans. I'm pretty sure none of them are Tremere. But everyone's abilities looked like they were vampire wizards. Like, you had, like, full-on special effects going on all over the place and just feel felt so unfitting. It didn't... It didn't feel vampire to masquerade. At least, I hoped it was just wine. With a family like the Lees... One could never be quite sure. Perhaps I should take a bottle with me to check it later. Just in case. I am really questioning the Nosferatu thing because I don't... I don't think I've seen like any ugly characters, so that would be... Whoop whoop, we got wine. That would be quite the thing.
I mean, the Toreador is the Speedy Bros. But once again, they all just look like vampire wizards to me. Their ability is like full on vampire wizard. Celerity. Um, I imagine in game version of Celerity won't just be like, oh, you can dodge shit. It will be like, go super fast, brah! Fast, brah, brah, brah. I don't think I've ever been in the breaker room. This should be the breaker room. But, oh, try it all. I really don't feel like groping around in the dark and bumping into dangerous old electrical equipment. I don't actually know how they're gonna be doing disciplines for that game. I will be able to comment when the game's out and if I ever get access to it. I'm not too sure if I'm the kind of person that they would grant access in advance. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, but doubt it. Otherwise, if it's free to play, they'll have access on release, I guess. I should probably come back after I find a flashlight or a candle. Got it. Thank you, game. But with that, we're gonna stop this murder mystery for now. And we're gonna move on to something else, so... Wacky storyline, um, really weird characters, good voice acting. The mechanics for looking around the room are actually quite well made. I mean, I have a feeling that if you just got somebody that was like competent at making character models and the backgrounds, like, I'm for the masquerade people. Um, and combined it with the fact that whoever made this game full-on voice acted it and wrote it and everything and did music and everything, I... I think it's the graphics that are holding it back outside of the fact that it's the wacky storyline. Otherwise, this is a better made visual novel most of the visual novels that I encountered, and the fact that I found it inside a $5 bundle, that's... That's the... Hmm, that's the concerning bit.